The play you're about to see is one of eight readings of Plays in Progress under the collective title Wexford Playwright Studio, produced by the Wexford Arts Centre and supported by Wexford County Council and the Arts Council. At various stages of these works, the writers had the mentoring input of the Wexford playwright Billy Roach, the dramaturg Thomas Conway, and the playwright Deirdre Kinahan. We've now taken the latest draft of the works and given each a day of rehearsal and a half day of filming over a two week period with 12 actors assigned across the eight plays. The process, though brief, has given all the writers an acute sense of what is working and not working in their plays and a good basis for moving on to the next stage of development towards an eventual production. There are four female and four male writers of varying ages represented here and we've been struck by the range and depth of talent on display. These plays are not yet the finished article but I think they are a strong indication that creative writing for the stage is alive and well in Wexford and the South East. Enjoy. Lights up on an upmarket kitchen slash living room in a Celtic Tiger new build. It's Chris's house. We're an hour from the city. There are notebooks and a laptop on the kitchen table. Carl, 37, sweaty and wearing a plush leather jacket, is leaning back in a kitchen chair, nursing a beer. Chris, 40, in an expensive pyjamas, is leaning on the countertop. I say, listen, I'm a lad. It ain't my fault these fucking Polish girls are supermodels. She lost them. Fuck you, the whole riot act. I say, what? You're the one said I should be nicer to these people. She says, I don't mean go out and shag the checkout girl. I say, just because I would, don't mean I will. Oh, so you do want to shag her. I, you, you should have seen her face, all fucking victorious. Like she just won the Champions League. I spoil her. That's her problem. She has it far too fucking good with me, and sometimes I think she's thick. Like I'd be caught dead in some fucking immigrant. Women, man. Anyway, fuck all that. How's the crack? You better. You look better. Human. Yeah, it's sort of weird, actually. Art to Chrissy. Huh? How you been? Grand. That is? It's two in the morning. The country's fucking dead at night. I don't know how you can sleep, it's so quiet. It was. What's the damage? The fucking city knows a joke. Yeah, it's central and, and that's handy, but fuck me the rent. What's the mortgage? What is this? My mortgage? What are you doing, Carl? What? Here. No. I was in the area. I said I'd check in. Or some farmer's son wanted a late night fix. How did you even find me? The Google heads live off the grid. Your lot invented the grid and mass surveillance. Five years and he thinks I'm Tim Cook. Fucking flu, eh? Look at us, man. Two old lads, fucking right, said Fred. Unreal. What? Check in at two in the morning. Don't be a pussy about it for once in your life. I have work tomorrow. How is it? Is it weird? Working? Finish your drink. I will. No. I need to sleep. I'm serious. Cheers. I needed this. Knee is at me. Not as bad, but the driving does nothing for the tendonitis. You ever hear the Atkins? Carl takes out a cigarette. I want to get fit again. I hope that's a fag in your hand. It's a pipe. I brought rocks. Of course it's a fag. What do I look like? A crackhead. Shit. Uh, may I? Elaine makes me stand on the balcony. Quickly. Mi casa, su casa. I didn't say that. Carl lights up, offers one to Chris. Chris declines. Have a fag? No. No? Jesus, the fucking joy. I have a scrum in the morning and it's important and I need to sleep. A scrum? I want to be sharp. Renting FIFA for a night was an affront. Now he's a rugger bugger. When did everyone get into rugby? It ain't even a real sport. It's a meeting with the department heads. It's nothing to do with sport. The smartest people meet once a week. I can't waltz in there with bad head and bad breath. Scrum. We have words for things. It's a sign of a strong company. Carl notices something on the beer bottle. The fuck? We're the leading provider in our sector. We're going public soon. Carl holds up the bottle. This, Chrissy, come on! It's water, bro! Not percent! You said a drink, not some Linda McCartney crap! I don't expect you to understand. Because I ain't some computer genius. Because I kicked the ball after school and didn't hide in my bedroom playing computer games. Because you ain't in recovery. 
Is there such a thing as by friends anonymous? There should be. Our fellas would have to put up with the constant bullshit. If there is, I'll be the first fucking name on the sheet. Fuck you, Jesus. No fucking idea how good she has it. Are you going to smoke that or stare at it? I don't know. I'm not going to overdose on secondhand smoke. I don't see an ashtray. Why would I have an ashtray? What sort of house is no ashtray? Jesus. What? Do you want ash on the carpet? Use the bottle if you ain't going to drink it. Who said I ain't going to drink it? Why did I answer the phone? All right, all right. <sighs> the scrum. I could get a plate. Christ, there's a woman, all right? You don't need an ashtray. I have a woman. Everything has to be a saga. A woman? Hell. Help. I have help. She's not... She scrubs the toilet. I'm sure she can handle some ash on the floor. Like a cleaner? A housekeeper. It ain't a big deal. David fucking it Beckham over here. It ain't a big deal, Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Christopher has a staff. Serve him his tea so he may retire to his chambers. It's not a staff. It's once a week she hoovers, takes the bins out, bits I'm too busy for. So this real, this job, it ain't, you know, bullshit. You want to see a payslip? What's she like? She's sexy. I fucking hope so, otherwise it's a waste of money. She's Polish. I know it! Ah, they are fucking everywhere now. Not that I'm complaining, they're beautiful. It's just, you know. No, Carl, I don't know. You got two more minutes. You bang her. Fuck's sake! What? Wow, a Polsky in a maid's outfit? It's an obvious question. They love the sesh too. Fucking fiends for powder. Does she sniff? She's 60. So? No, else is 60. Fiona Shaw. I saw my left foot again. She had that short hair. Man, Fiona Shaw would get a lot more than my left foot. <laughs> and, you know, all our women have their advantages. Daughters. Does Magda have a daughter? No. I don't know. I leave cash out when I come home, the house is clean. And it's Bushka, not Magda. And don't talk about her like that. She's nice. Have some respect. How do you know? What? She's nice. How do you know she ain't some Soviet Maya West? Because? You spend your life typing emails and don't live in the real world. Because not every woman has it in for you. She was an architect. Back home she made 60k a year. But she don't have the English, so she does what she can. What are you on? Me? Nothing. Well, salary wise, 90. That tech shit has billions. Law sixes. You know how much I'd be making if I had have made it. A hundred grand a week, easy. Even a shit club like Everton. But a house big enough to fit this one in the bathroom. If I played for Leeds, I'd have two cleaners. And two more to clean up after those cleaners. More than a hundred. Just spit it out, don't. I'm tired, get to the point. What? Don't what? Five years, I ain't heard one word and all of a sudden you're ringing me. You want to come over? I thought it was earlier. Who are you hiding from? Hiding? You're laying low. You're going to tell me you didn't fuck up? I didn't hear from you either. Is it Mick? Terry who? Terry Mack? Really? Fuck Terry Mack. Do you have any idea what a scumbag like Terry can do to you? A kid like you? Who's a kid? Get out now. What am I? The TV license inspector? Out. You're being a pussy again. If Terry McCarthy wants your heart on a spit or some other scumbag, that's your problem. Showing up here, who drives to Wicklow at two in the morning? I mean it. Take your bullshit someplace else. Terry was lifted, dickhead. You don't read the paper. Two keys are pure in the boot of his Range Rover. Old cunt like Terry should know better. He ain't coming for no, not now. I don't read the Daily Star, no. We got the New York Times for free in work. Whatever it is, talk to Lar. That's what Dad did. Lar? What? He fucked up too? He's dead. Shot. Driving April to school. Stop for coffee at Circle K. Prick put five fucking rounds in his face. Poor child was in the back seat. Lar? A year ago, last March. Day after Paddy's day. I didn't know. I doubt it made the New York Times. Jesus. Maria. Fuck. How's Maria? Fucking tablet case. I don't know. I have been over. Running things. Elaine, I ain't had time. Fuck. Dad never had this shit to deal with. 
Dublin cunts all killing each other. Like there ain't enough for all of us. And you think typing emails is stressful. Well, no, it wasn't. He was liked. Numbers, man. You ain't the only thing in recovery. The city's fucking savage now. I should be in Leeds, kicking ball, not checking the rear view for a young fella on a push bike. I'd be heading into retirement now with a great big nest egg. Doing punditry, maybe, on Sky, RT even. Tendonitis, man. It's a killer. Have you talked to him? He's dead. Da. Not since her funeral. He's in Malaga or Malta, someplace only. I only know I was in the papers. You didn't go to her funeral. Carl's phone rings. It's Elaine. He cancels it. And this bitch ain't helping neither. Must be pretty serious if you live together. Do you love her? Carl takes an envelope out of his pocket. Here. I wanted to come earlier, but Elaine says driving in daylight is risky and that boat is rocky enough as it is. Anyway. Carl lays the envelope on the table. What is it? For your eyes only. Is it drugs? If that's drugs, get it the fuck out of here. Fuck's sake, Chrissy. Hardly. Jesus. I know Steve Job. I know that much. But I ain't a moron. I run the thing. The boss don't get his hands dirty. That's suicide. Or I'm in recovery and having class A drugs in the house is a stupid idea. Yeah. Well, cheers. I suppose. Why'd you pick up anyway? I thought no way he picks up. To rub my face in it. You have your dream job, but I don't. Of course not. I was the best, Chrissy. The best player in the hall of Exford. Don't forget it. I don't know. Going to work. Getting up in the morning, doing something I actually like. At one point, I thought, no way. No way in hell could I live without heroin. Maybe I can, I don't know. Tonight, for the first time in forever, the thought of you. I didn't feel sick to me stomach. Cheers. I have an interview next week, a promotion, a permanent, rest of my life opportunity in work. And if I, I won't get it, obviously, but if I do, I don't know, maybe, maybe I am better, not some fucking junkie. I was awake when you rang. I was here studying, trying to. When I think about how far I've come, the years I've pissed away, the life lost to drugs, it's a fucking miracle I'm standing here. Carl takes back the envelope. What are you doing? You're going to take it back? Come here and waste my time? I have a scrum at eight in the morning. I have to be asleep. Carl's phone rings. He answers. What? What? Shortly. Shortly, all right. Why? I'm in the car. Why? What's wrong? No, you rang me. Elaine, it just rang. For the 50th time tonight. Anyway, I thought I was in the doghouse. Hello? Hello? Elaine is hung up. Carl puts the envelope back. I better go, or she'll invade Poland. Cheers for the drink. When you get the promotion, I'll buy you one. You have my number, and word to be wise, Maria. When Lar died, got a nanny into mind April, a Lithuanian, to pick her up from school. One day, she got up, and her engagement ring was gone. Good luck. Hey, don't ever come here again. Carl exits, forgetting his jacket. Chris locks the door, takes a moment to gather himself. He puts the empty bottle in the recycling. He turns off the lights. Only the light of his laptop on the kitchen table is left. He sits, looks at the envelope. Blackout. Scene two, morning. Bushka, 60, sweeps the kitchen. She clocks the ash on the floor, stops, looks closer. She sweeps it up with a brush and pan. Her back hurts, so she sits. Chris enters, searching for his briefcase. Have you seen my briefcase? Jesus, Christopher. I put a big stack of notes in my briefcase. <sighs> You gave me a heart attack. This whole interview's gonna be tableau. I know it, they're obsessed in there. Same goes for agility. They know I can multitask, but tableau's a whole other story. The Trinity Head spent semesters on it. I did one week of it at level five. So instead of watching telly last night, I made notes. I'll be studying at lunch, so if I'm incommunicado, don't worry. I have 15 pages to learn off. If I can find them, there's coffee left. Did you have breakfast? 
You are late. I don't have time for bagels, so help yourself. What about Scrum? Is cancelled? What? It's eight o'clock almost. Yeah, I know. Scrum at eight o'clock. Yeah, less yappy, more lucky. Where's my phone? You not sleeping? I just had it. Where's my phone gone? Christopher. Bushka, please. I'm late already. It's black and... You know my briefcase. I had it last night. Christopher. Time blow ain't even hard. It's easy. I do know it. Whoa. I just don't want to fuck it up. Stop. The interview is tomorrow. I can't be late the day before the interview. I'll be laughed at. Why are you late today? I come. You're not here always. You're not sleeping. Why not? You are stress. What you do for stress? Can we talk later? You make stress, you make problem. Something happened. Like a maniac, not normal. I'm grand. I stayed up. I was working. You say to me if it's something. Bushka. You promise if happen, something happen, you say. This ain't a meeting, fuck's sake. I don't need to be baby. Jesus, I had a mother. I don't need a new one. Grand, you are positive. I would tell you. You know that. Why are you smoking? Smoking? No. What? It's been years. The smell, it makes me sick now. Bushka lifts up the dustpan. What is this? What is it? I don't know. Look. It's dirt. Ash. Cigarette. It's okay if you tell to me. I will help if you say. A friend was over. A friend. They had a cigarette. Friend. Is that so hard to believe? Last night. They were here. It was raining. Not you. Come on. I ask. Always. It's important, I ask. Why? Why would I be so stupid to take that risk and watch everything I've worked for go down the toilet? I wouldn't. You know what happens next. You know better than anyone. But thanks. I appreciate it. You really are amazing. You know that? It's true. Every day I thank God I met you. I wouldn't be here without you. I could have sworn I left it here. Who is friend? Christopher. Huh? You not talk about friends before. Huh? You not have friends before. A work friend. From work. I needed help with tableau. You look in room. My room, the hallway, the wardrobe, everywhere. Fuck it. I have to go. Man or woman? Bushka, sweetie. Please? I'm late. They drinking here and smoking. Father brow. One. It was work, not a dinner party. Look again in wardrobe. I looked in the wardrobe. How can I just wake up and it's gone? If friend is woman, you need to be careful. If it's woman... You didn't take it, did you? By accident? Move it? It's okay if you did. I not touch. I never touch. I clean and go. No. Yeah. Of course. Well, I'll have to go without it. Move slow. I not want to talk your business, but if friend is woman, you need slowly... Can we please change the subject? Bushka exits to the hallway. She reappears with the briefcase. In wardrobe. I swear to God, I looked. Christopher reaches for it. Bushka pulls it back. My ex-husband drink a lot also. And drug and smoking. Edit. Like me. If he now he is my husband, I not stop. Ever. Relationship sometime is good, sometime bad. Now, for you, is good or bad? It was a man. I wouldn't lie to you. Do I have Febreze? It stinks in here. Simple life. It's why I come here. Beautiful life is simple. Go to work. Can I be honest with you? Next week is interview. You won't be late. Look, I didn't want to say anything because, well, I don't have a hope. Not one. The other candidates are papered and qualified with years of experience, but Bushka, if, if I get it, I'm, I'm buying you a house. The money is stupid. I have enough already. Too much, I'll get a second mortgage. For you, it's the least I can do. 
I know you didn't help me so I'd buy you things or give you work such as it is. You're not like that. I know that. But Jesus, Bushka, when I say I wouldn't be here. Tech, sweetie, it's obscene. The money in these companies. Say I get it. I go from programming executive to junior head of programming. My salary doubles. Plus, I get a bonus each month for performance. Do you know how much harder it is to be junior head of programming than it is to be programming executive? 1% tops. In fact, realistically, my workload will be less. Two, maybe three meetings more a week. The higher up you go in there, the less work people do. The point is, come next week, I might, might, be making more money, way more than I could ever need. But you, you need it. You deserve it. I owe you my life. Bushka hugs Christopher. She steps back suddenly. Sorry. It's grand. I forget. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I... I said don't worry about it. Christopher, my God. You are not reaching retirement renting some damp, mouldy, overpriced apartment. I won't have it. What can I say? Thank you. Oh, thank you, of course. No. I wish I had your heart. You are a good man. I'm a late man. Enjoy your day. Actually, go home. Take the morning. I can do the house. See you next week. Christopher, I ask website. I ask simple thing, not special. The website's almost done. It's important for business. Another week or two, I promise, almost. Thank you. The National Gallery has a Mondrian exhibition. It's free in till Friday. Chris exits. Bushka exits into the hallway. Blackout. Scene three. Lights up a week later. It's a little earlier in the night than Carl's last visit. Carl is waiting by the sink. He checks both his phones. After way too long, Chris enters with the jacket. Chris throws the jacket at Carl, who doesn't catch it, then sits on the couch with his laptop. I'm not in enough trouble. It was a gift. Valentine's. Like, I give a shit, but, you know, for the sake of the domestic bliss. Was there something else? I don't know. How are you? How's work going? Good. I know it ain't good. I ain't thick. I'm very busy. Me too. Have a nice night. Up the walls. Did you look? Chrissy. At the thing. I'm trying to concentrate. No. What? Did you? Did I what? All right. Can you say it again? I didn't hear you. Last week, I was here. I gave you something. Oh. Yeah. So? I didn't get around to it. Carl is about to light a cigarette. Not inside. The smell lasted days after. Chris starts tidying the house. What are you doing, Chrissy? Shaving my legs. What does it look like I'm doing? It's called housework. Dirt don't magically disappear. Ask your girlfriend. The point of paying a refugee is to get her to do it. Bushka is here tomorrow. I don't want the place like a bomb hit it. If I can't do my work in peace, I might as well do something useful. You're cleaning for the cleaner. Housekeeper. I used to wash my face in Conley Station. Having a sink is still a thrill. You didn't get around to it. I put it in your hand. I went to bed. I had the scrum. I told you. Not everyone can drive around all day with 40 phones looking busy while a load of young fellas do the heavy lifting. Does your work know you're a junkie? Sorry, were a junkie. Ever say I'm? Leave. It'll never happen. They're not going to promote a junkie. These companies all love acting all fucking diversified, but we know us bullshit. They sold my number to some chink call center. I'm getting calls from weird numbers. I apologize, but the Chinese Communist Party were just dying to listen to you blab on to some arsehole about football. Of course I never said anything. It's none of their business. When will you? When will I what? Get around to it. When are you going to fuck off back to your spare room? I don't have it, so I don't know. Never. What do you mean you don't have it? If only there was Febreze for people and not just bad smells. Were you robbed? 
Was it stolen? What? Bushka was here. She threw it out, maybe. I don't know. Bushka? Thought it was rubbish, maybe. I'll say it to her. Is she retarded? Where'd you get her? A Soviet slow home for retarded cleaners. I fucking told you. Don't speak like that. It's disrespectful and vile, and I don't want to hear it. Did you check the bin? Where's the bin? Gone. It went on Friday. Why is your phone so quiet? Why isn't what's her name, Lorraine, keeping tabs? She give up? Bring the bin company. And show up at the dump with the shovel. It's gone. What do you want me to do? Zack her. Cut her hand off like they do in her country. Because Krakow was the capital of Saudi Arabia. I don't know. Break her legs. Sure. Invite your mates over. A little torture party right here in the kitchen. And end up all over Facebook. Hardly. I wasn't serious. It's theft. You're going to let her get away with it? It was an accident. It happened. Did she open it? Did she? Why? What's so special about it? I haven't seen you this animated since Leeds got relegated. What was it? If I had made it like I should have, all of this... But you didn't. Or is selling cocaine what Premier League players do on the side? Tendonitis isn't supposed to be chronic. Your knee, right, of course. You hadn't mentioned it for two whole minutes. I was the best for my age in all of Wexford. Twenty years ago. So maybe, you know, it's time to, I don't know, let it go. And on that note, Ihawa. Do you have any... Do you even know how fucking impossible it is? How close I was? I was captain of the county team. The Wexford county team? Hardly Dublin schoolboys, is it? What? Come on. Come on, what? Soccer. In Wexford, it's a joke. It's like hurling in Dublin. But it's what you wanted. So Da made a phone call. Lucky that when your Da knows the manager. Fuck do you know about football? Dublin schoolboys. Fuck would you know about anything except hiding in your room all day playing Shinobi with the curtains closed. He's too good for this team. He should play here, not there. Football, football. Day after day after day. It's all anyone ever talked about. Why didn't you play up there if you were so good at it? As far as I can remember, the physio said you were fine. And I never played Shinobi. Shinobi was Sega. I had a Nintendo moron. It was Mario. I was in the car one morning, years ago now, stuck in traffic at the Hapney Bridge. I saw you. Asleep on a bench with what's his name? That little rat from the flats, Steve something. Your fellow zombie on Delier Street goose stepped in front of a Lewis, and for 20 minutes I watched you. I thought, if Chrissy moves before they scrape that thick cunt off the street, I'll get out of my car, walk over, and hand you five grand cash. I had it. I could spare five grand. Enough for a gaff, treatment, new clobber, and, and the time to find a job. <laughs> you just lay there, off your head for the whole world to see. I could have done it anyway, but I thought, you know what? Fuck him. When I need him, where was he? Dad was busy. He didn't have time to go up and down twice a week. He worked day and night to put clothes on our backs and food on our plates. And you might not like how he did it, but whatever he did, he did it for you. What did Ma ever do? Except fucking drink and win. You should have been at the funeral. Leeds were playing. She should have died a different day. Anyway. Tonight's girl's night. Elaine's in the liquor rooms. I'll be in her mouth before her coat comes off. Have fun cracking one out to octopus porn or whatever the fuck it is you do at night. I hope you get her good foundation and she wears it thick. You said two words to a woman except some cunt fucking cleaner you might understand. Oh, and hey, don't fuck it up tomorrow. Carl exits again without his jacket. Chris picks up the jacket. A packet of cigarettes falls to the floor. He picks them up. He puts his laptop into his briefcase. He takes out the envelope. Blackout. Scene four, the next morning. Carla's on the couch on the phone. Sky Sports News plays low on the television. So, all of it then, huh? And who's there? A young fella, 
Have I met him? Has he met me? What about my number? Would he have it? Good. What do you think? Will he talk or? Well, make sure. Make sure he knows who was paying him, and if he's lifted, he knew the rest. He's fucked anyway, if it was that much. He may as well tell them it was his. And going forward, I want everything in Ring's End. In the container. All of it. Because I said so. Till I figure something out. All right. All right, man. Go on. Huh? No, you did the right thing. I'd rather know than not know, you know. All right, man. Uh, hey, how old was he, actually? A young fella. And he had in school. All right. What about his parents? Together, separated, dead, what? Find out for me. Just do it, all right? All right, go on. Ah, nothing. Helping out ones across the road. <laughs> eh, hey, hey. do you know the, do you know the alley in East Wall? Yeah, the blonde, I know. I fucking know she is. Why do you think I'm at her house? Oh, she's savage. Go away, I ain't telling you. You'll be over here tomorrow with flowers and a Ben Sherman shirt. You should see the picture she sent me. Filthy. Ha! Huh? Fuck off! I'll give her one from me and another one from me right after, if the bitch is any good. You know what some of them are like. I'll talk. Tell you what, start the container and I'll show you one. What about that? Eh? Eh? All right, man. Go on. Hey, let me know when that's done, yeah? Yeah, text it to me and find out about the young fella. All right, man. Bye. See you, man. Bye, bye. Yeah, bye, bye. Carl hangs up, lights a cigarette, and watches a Sky Sports News bulletin. Bushka enters on the phone. How much? Cuba? How much? One bottle? Half? How much was it? Pour it out. It, it doesn't matter. Pour it out and then make coffee. Cuba, Cuba, you have coffee and lie down. I know you did. I know, Cuba, but listen to me. It's fine. You'll be fine. We all make mistakes. Just try again. There's a meeting tonight. You're on Thomas Street, yes? Tonight, yes, in the community center. I want to see you there. I want you at the meeting, eight o'clock. You can do it. Trust me. Okay, Cuba. Take care. And drink lots of water. Okay, bye. Bye bye, bye bye. Bushka hangs up. She's tired. She takes a moment. You're late. Oh, Jesus! Not only do you steal, you don't even show up on time. You work for me. Well, put it this way you wouldn't. Carl, nice to finally meet. I know you are. Yeah? Who? Oh. Carl. Funny, for a foreigner. Bushka takes out her phone. Dial one fucking number and I swear to God I'll kick your teeth in. Bushka puts away her phone. The famous Babushka, my brother's keeper. Housekeeper. Scrubber. Do you read the paper, Babushka? Are you able to? I'm talking to you. I am not afraid of you. So? You're a thief, you're late, and a liar. What do you see. want? <laughs> Is that how you come here? Just waltz in like you own the place? I'm working. Sorry, I don't know Russian. What was that? How long you been fleecing my brother for? I come back. No, you don't. For now, you're going to sit. Bushka sits. Lovely lad, ain't he? Chrissy. Always has the right thing to say. But, like any other bullshitter, he's never there, is he? When you need him. I'm not part of family and fighting. Just give it to me. You know what I want. Respect. Look, sweetheart. I'm not a bad lad. I'm fair. Not a lot is nowadays. Be the change you want to see in the world. Now do us both a favour and stop fucking me around. Dick man. Where is it? What did you do with it? It what? I know nothing you're talking about. Where do you fucking people get the balls? In Poland? Balls grow on trees. Christopher has interview. I cleaned now. Excuse me. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to put the envelope in my hand. Then you're going to walk out of here and never come back. Envelope? What is this? I don't understand envelope. A fellow one time owed us money. 
thought he could take da for a cunt. He needed time, another week. He up one day and moved to Westport. Like legging it, let him fuck us. I caught the prick and cut his index finger off. I kick your knee. What happened? You catch to me? Oh, cry like boy. I cannot give you something I not have. I made the county team with this knee, and I sure as fuck can kick you back to Poland. Wexford team is not like Poland team. It's like joke in Ireland. Football better in Poland. Carl makes a move. Bushka smashes the bottle of Vaterbrow left on the counter and puts the jagged edge to her arm. You want? You want this? The fuck are you doing? You feel better, big man? You're fucking crazy! I not have envelope. I hurt, I not have. I not hurt, not have. So what you want? Carl's phone rings. Answer. Answer phone. Carl answers. Can I ring you back? I'm busy. Working. I ring you back. Hey! Two minutes, yeah? Shut up! I'm in a meeting. Help! Carl me! Shut the fuck up! What? Help! Nothing! I cut your throat, I swear to fucking God! It's Mick, he's messing, he's fucking around! Help! What? I kill you, you hear me? No, it's a man, it's Mick, he's doing a voice! Bushka exits, slinking at the door. I'm not! I'm with Mick! Are... Are you high? Are you? I can hear it. You're fucking high. You promised me, Elaine. Elaine, you promised. Hello? Hello, Elaine? Carl hangs up. The sound of Bushka driving away. Hey! He tries to ring Elaine back. It goes straight to voicemail. Fuck! Blackout. Scene five. A wet night. Lights are low. Chris is sat at the table, the envelope in front of him. He is halfway through a cigarette. He draws long and hard as he smokes. After a while, we hear Carl pull up in the driveway. Chris stubs out the cigarette, lights another from Carl's box. Carl enters. Hello? What happened to John Player? These are girls' fags, like smoke and air. Whatever happened 20 blue? What happened to you gave up? Ain't like I'm selling the furniture for skag, is it? Is it a good idea? Well, you end up sleeping on the floor. Smoking. Are you alone? Remember Steve. Connolly. He's dead now, but remember Steve. Collins, we called him, like the boxer. He loved to scrap. He always knew where fag boats were. That's important, finding smokes. Very important when you're on the street. People think it's easy. Go to a bus stop or a path outside an office block. Want to know where to find the most butts? Fucking smart, Steve. A rat from the flats, sure, but he knew how to think. Community centres. Community centres. The one in Rialto had bingo on Thursdays. All ones love a last smoke before the balls drop. We'd find three... Maybe four dozen on the steps there. But we were junkies. To us fags were food. What we really needed was cash. Steve one night was picked up at Stephen's Green Lewis stop. A bolt cutters in this hand and a bike lock in this one. Five fucking hours I stood on Store Street waiting. I told him umpteen times not during the day. When we get there, the owl ones are long gone. They know not to hang around. November nights are killer. The street sweeper had passed with that big fucking machine and scooped everything up. Four days worth. Gone. For a bike. Naturally, I'm fucking livid. I'm thinking, Steve and me, it might be time to part ways. To be honest, he'd been getting on my tits for weeks. Every nod I was in, he'd keep yapping. I thought if I hear any more about fluoride or 5G. The bingo people count the money and the winners, if there are any, stay behind to collect. They're 70, 80 years old, these women. How hard could it be? Few hundred quid to a widower is half a tank of heating oil. To me and Steve, it's a good weekend of hay. 
What it really comes down to in that moment is who's got the most to lose. A pensioner wanting warmth or two addicts too strung out to give a shit. Steve hit her a smack. Well, yeah, he's from the flats. Fuck knows how you put up with him so long. I did. Right in the temple. Hard as I could, I smashed this owl one right in our fucking temple. We used the notes to score. Bought 50 blue between us with the change. Yeah, the worst thing a fella's done for money. You could have played for Man United. You were right, Carl. I know. Dead fucking right. About what? United? There ain't a better. Not for me. No matter what, now or years from now, I'll have always done that. So, smoking fags is what? At the meetings, everyone went outside to smoke. I'd just sit there, alone. But you still go to meetings, Chrissy. You still go. The coffee was instant. If I wanted a cup of cat shit, I'd go to Bewley's. Then go to Costa. It's drug treatment, not a board meeting. Why are the lights off? The fuck is going on here? I didn't get it, the promotion. So, the fuck is going on with you? You want to talk about that? Why? If we're going to get into this, I need a real fag. There's no hit off this. You told him, Jesus Christ, you said something. What did I tell you about these companies? What? That I want nothing more in the whole world than to get up every day and get wrecked. And no salary or job will stop me waking up wanting an eighth of smack and a nag and a teacher for breakfast. The truth. You fucking idiot. You stupid. Fucking. I didn't. Of course I... I'm not good enough. There are people in there more qualified than me. I knew that. So you're going to sit here, smoking my fags, feeling sorry for yourself. Or invent a knee injury. Blame that. Fuck you. Enjoy our pity party. Classic Carl, run away, just like at the wake. I rang Nicky, dickhead, the county manager. Do you want to know what he said? Nicky Pender, the best coach in Leinster, solid player. One of the top coaches in the country said I was solid. He knew nothing about a phone call. Just because you ain't good enough don't mean I wasn't. Where did you get this? A Polsky. Nick's knows him. Facts are half price over there. If we let the people in, why not fucking fags? I was busy. I didn't run from anything. Chris puts down the cigarette and holds up the envelope, which Carl hasn't seen until now. I'm going to give you a number. And first thing tomorrow, you're going to make an appointment. It's a specialist. There's a clinic in Rathmines. I've been to physios. They fucking lie. She'll say trauma a lot. Do you understand what that means? Trauma. She'll mention sex too, not right away, she's smart. She'll build up to it. But it's important that when she does, you talk honestly. Chris necks the bottle and stands up suddenly, toppling his chair back. He's drunk. Do you think you can do that? I don't fucking believe this. We host domain names, by the way. It's a web hosting company. So if, for example, an absolute shitbag such as yourself wanted to set up, I don't know, Chris is a junkie prick dot com. You pay us for the privilege. It's complete fucking horse shit like the world needs any more websites. All they are is ads now anyway. And sure there's a limit to the amount of shit a person can buy. But it beats selling coke to keep some ungrateful cunt in brown Thomas pencil skirts I suppose. So what was I? Oh yeah. Get help. You're going to go to the toilet. Puke up whatever's left in you, and then you're going to go to sleep. And you're going to do it right fucking now. Or, and Chrissy, I swear to God, I'll kill you before you do it yourself. I'm sorry. I should have stopped it. I'm sorry, Carl. You're drunk. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm your brother. I'm older. I should have done something. I can't understand what you're saying. Chris weighs the envelope. This. This. This is bullshit. I don't even know what's in there. I found it in her room. At the wake, I went into her room and it was... I ain't got to explain nothing to you. What the fuck did you do? Let's open it. Do not. Why? 
It's just bullshit. Let's open it. Because you're afraid you don't have a job. The promotion, recovery, all of it lies. What are you talking about? I went over there yesterday, the dock. I, I needed your help. I'd sent you 10, 20 texts. I thought, fuck it, I'll go to your office. There was a letter here with, with a name on it. But some four-eyed prick with an accent said I'd need a pass. I said, I'm looking for Chrissy. Ho, oh, Christopher, cousins, tell mine downstairs. I'm his brother. Christopher? Work experience. Four years ago, you made coffee for two weeks for some pissy diploma, some back-to-work, long-term unemployment bullshit. She left me, Elaine. The other night, she, she ain't well. She's like you, she, I love her, Chrissy. I don't, I don't know how to show it maybe, but I do. She could hurt herself. I need to find her. I need your help, please. Where are you? Chrissy, Chrissy. Carl goes to follow him, but he bashes his knee off a kitchen chair. The sound of Chris speeding away. Carl rides in pain. Fuck! Fuck! He tries to move, but he's in too much pain. Fuck! Carl rings Elaine. No answer. Carl's phone rings. He answers. Where the fuck are you? Hello? Talk to me! You're an ungrateful cunt! I, I didn't mean that. I know you're grateful. I know you know that. Oh, just come home. Please. I need to talk to you. I love... Hello? Carl hangs up. He looks at the envelope. Blackout. Scene six. Chris's house, night, low light, raining heavier. Chris enters soaked. He leaves his briefcase on the table, exits into the bedroom. He returns and sits, stares at the briefcase. His phone rings, he cancels the call and turns it to silent. The phone vibrates and he cancels it again. He takes his laptop out of the bag then a baggie and a pipe. He packs the pipe with heroin, lights the bowl, and takes a big, deep draw. He exhales eventually and sinks into the chair into a nod. His phone vibrates, but Chris is out of it. Outside, the flash of car headlights. A knock on the door. Chris is dead to the world. Another knock. A key turns in the door. Bushka enters. I need to talk. I call and queue. Is important, so please let it to me. I am proud, Christopher, of you, a lot proud. Now you have job, working hard, house, so much. But I cannot anymore work here. Sorry, but at home, I drinking, I using drug, I get in trouble, money, I owing, bad men, a lot of money. He say again, he see me, he kill me, and family. He hurt to me, I take. I have drinking and drug, I not care for me, nothing. Family is different. I see this kind of man again, here. You say he never come knowing where you live. Bushka lays the key down. No contact. Congratulations, big job. Have family. Use money for this. It's what you want. Chris is unresponsive. Are you okay? Christopher? Bushka turns the lights on, sees him comatose. Christopher? Oh shit, shit! She moves to him to the recovery position. Waking up, Christopher, waking now. She slaps him, there's a flicker of life. He give you something. Carl give you this. What he give? Christopher. What? What you take? What he give? I'm grand. Chris nods out again. Bushka takes out her phone and is about to dial 999. Ma, no, I'm grand. How you do this? How you take? I help you. Bushka slaps Chris. Touch me. Bushka grabs him. What is wrong with you? Chris shoves Bushka. Fucking touch me. I don't like it. Bushka's badly hurt. Christopher nods out again. 
Bushka crawls to the kitchen table. She takes out her phone, but the windows light up with Carl's headlights. Bushka goes to make a run for it. The car door slams. Bushka exits, running for cover in the hallway. Carl enters. Ten fucking times I rang. You fucking blocked me. I've been ringing non-stop. Put your shoes on. Over some job. Don't give a fuck if you work or not. Hey, dickhead. Shoes. Now. Ungrateful bitch. I don't fucking believe it. How could she? Will you get up? We have to go. Fucking Odeen. Lion cunt. Hey, we have to go. Elaine's in the hospital. I warned her. I told her umpteen fucking times. Now, I need you to go down there. Chris is unresponsive. Fuck is wrong with you? Carl goes to the hallway. Huh? You're coming with me. Huh? Carl re-enters with shoes. You're coming with me. Put these on. Chop, chop, Chrissy. It's 30 minutes to vomit. I get a text from one of our friends. What did you do? What did I do? She left me. No. She was shoving shit up her nose like b before I came along. What did I do? Do you fucking believe that? Hey. Hey, oh, for fuck's sake. Again. Of course. When I need you, you're drunk. Of course you are. Carl pours Chris a glass of water. You're going to meetings, you hear me? In two weeks, you'll be shooting up. Then two weeks after that, you're dead. Or worse, on the street. Here, drink this. Drink it. I don't. It's water, here. I don't want water. You're not going to the hospital drunk. Who's drunk? I ain't fucking around. Open your mouth. Leave me alone. You want me to go in, huh? A coke case. Heart attack, yeah. Car crash. I'll be there before the ambulance. But coke. I'll wait in the car. Carl puts Chris's shoes on. The second her eyes open, all you need to do is tell her to keep her mouth shut, all right? Under no circumstances does my name come up. She got it from her friend, tell her. That's all you have to do. I knew this had happened. I fucking knew it. Last year I came home. I was at the Aviva. I found her on the floor. She'd been there for hours. She was lucky. Another night I was working late. Her friend rang an ambulance. She... A stupid bitch put me down as her next of kin. Wrote my fucking name on a farm for the whole world to see. I could have killed her. Will you help me out here? I can't, Chrissy. I can't. I can't go to prison. Please. She'll wake up any minute. Chris is going nowhere. Fuck. Fuck. I'll do it. All right. I'll make an appointment. Do this for me and I'll ring the specialist. First thing tomorrow, if you help me, please, Chrissy. Chris is still lifeless. When I gave up the county team, you didn't give a fuck then either. Da at least said something. You even knew. You know why. I couldn't be in that house. Not after that. He fucking ruined us. How the fuck does Ma get to die? It was her fault. How come she gets away with it? I should have gone. I should have spat on her grave. Coffee. Huh? I need coffee. There's the services. A mile or so up the motorway. Those nice ones. I need an Americano. Four shots. It has to be four. Anything weaker will put me to sleep. Few fags and a fizzy drink. And there's a chance I'm able to function when we get there. Come on then. You're paying. Chris manages to stand. Whatever you want. You want a hand? I'm grand. Thanks, Chrissy. I mean it. Carl, we're even. How do you afford this place? I don't get it. Chris exits, followed by Carl. They drive away. Bushka creeps into the kitchen. She spots the pipe on the table. She picks up the pipe. Blackout. Scene 7. Chris and Carl enter a few hours later. Carl stands. Chris sits. Silence. Chris puts Sky Sports News on. The fuck is wrong with you? Turn that off. It's football. So? It's the same shit from earlier. Some other prick saying it. Chris turns the television off. You want a beer? I got cans. Huh? Real cans, not feta, bro. No. No. I'm driving. Coffee? It's two in the morning. 
is it? It's so quiet here. I miss the traffic sometimes. The sirens. Stray cats killing each other. I'll fuck off in a minute. What? I'll fuck off. Just give me a minute. Silence. Chris lights a cigarette, offers one to Carl. Here. No. Have a fag. I don't want one. It'll help. How many ways do I say it? I had one already in the car. I don't know how you smoke them anyway. With no filter. It's rotten. It's like anything bad for you. The discomfort is half the joy. Silence. Chris smokes. He's fidgety. You are right over there. Me? Yeah? What do you mean? Am I keeping you from something? Like what? Me has to get up tomorrow. I can't sleep in all day, and the day after that. But why don't you relax? That's it. What? That's all you're going to say. Relax. Right now? I think it's important. Mr. Fucking Feelings. How can you sit there like nothing happened? Well, she was your girlfriend. What do you want me to say? I never met her before. It's a tragedy. It's beyond sad. You said she was beautiful, but Jesus. I mean, she was dead, but still. What a waste. It's fucked up. The first time seeing someone and they're dead. Yeah, all right. It's normal being emotional. It's natural. Emotional? But it ain't, you know, without certain positives from your perspective. She's fucking dead. And her mouth is shut forever. Fuck are you talking about emotional? What am I talking about? Grief. Loss. Trauma. Do you have any idea how many matches I missed? How many Super Sundays I never saw because of her? Because she was hung over and had to go for a walk. Not a drink, a walk. Grief. I missed the playoff final because she said if she didn't go to Hoth, she'd be sick everywhere. I drive there and what does she do? Take pictures of herself. I'm stood there like a gimp. For what? So she can nag me. Move out. Fucking kill herself. I ain't upset. I'm fuming. If I could, I'd kill her myself. The fucking bitch. Fuck her. Well, as it's virtually impossible to kill someone twice, why not take tonight to, I don't know, reflect? What? I think you should reflect. Reflect what? Nothing. Forget it. Just continue on as normal. The fuck do you mean twice? What did I do? I was at home watching highlights. You contributed. Contributed? I contributed. She was 32 for fuck's sake. It wasn't natural causes. And? Natural causes. It was natural for her. Everything that had case on, I paid for. Me. I fucking contributed to Zara and River Island and fucking boo-hoo, ungrateful cunt. And fuck you. Fucking reflect when Ma died. The fuck did you do? Went to the funeral. Sober or out of your bin on smack? The very next week I got help. The very next week. Reflect. Dr. fucking Phil. Reflect my whole. It was coke, you fucking monster. Tell me again what you do for a living. If you can't handle it, leave it alone. It's simple. And at least I make a living. I don't have to lie about working hard like a teacher. So you bear no responsibility, none. What about our friends? They're the ones going around all day like fucking Kardashians. What about them fannying about in coppers like they're fucking celebrities? She's from Oliver Bond! You, you think this is funny? Hysteric. I wasted years of my life on that woman. That's funny to you. You know what this is? This act. This fucking Al Pacino, good fella's crap you love to pull. It's pathetic. You're not angry. You're relieved. Is that right? And not because of Elaine's big mouth or handbag habit, no. Now nobody's close. And you're delighted. And after your appointment, you'll understand why. It's been a long day. I have to sleep. But I ain't the only one. And fuck the specialist, I'm buying a boat. Now I can afford it. That's a positive. A 30-footer called Corona. I saw it on the internet. Not the only one, what? And no, before you ask, you ain't getting on it. It's for watching football, it's for me. A girl is dead from an overdose. Why would I be relieved? What did you say? She was leaving me. I want to know what you said. She came back. She was getting our stuff. 
filling bag after bag with dresses and shoes and jewellery. I bought her. I said, technically, that shit is mine and the shit you have on. She threw a bag at me, told me to fuck off. She was leaving. Car. I needed help. I told her everything. Da, ma. When Da went away, I said I was fucked in the head and and if she leaves me, I'll, I'll kill myself. And me? I loved her, Chrissy. Her fucking eyes, I swear to God, you didn't see her eyes. What happened? She laughed. Said I was lying. I'd say anything to keep her from fucking someone else. It happened, I said. Ask Chris if you don't believe me. She said, how come I never mentioned it before? Like it's something you bring up at breakfast. Hey. Chris moves to Carl. Carl backs away. She shouldn't have done that. Fucking bitch. She shouldn't have reacted like that. Oh, fuck, Carl. The fuck is wrong with us? Carl's phone rings. He answers. Crack, man. Ha! Ah, I didn't. No, I'm busy. Go on. Yeah. Nice. How much? Oh, nice, man. Love the land, huh? No crack, no, just... Listen, man, I'll ring you back, yeah? Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'll buzz you later, man. All right. All right, man. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Mick's still gambling. How else can an old cunt like him enjoy a match? Brick was better than me, even. He took the points at 14, pissed it, pissed it away. Yeah. Not everyone can make it. I couldn't focus anymore. I don't know how I played as long as I did. It was a friendly, a pre-season game in Warford. This little rat of a left back went in with his studs up. I could have played on. It wasn't the first kick I got. I was decent. I, I got kicked a lot. What was I supposed to say? Hey, Nicky. The fellow riding my map. Didn't have to be Leeds, you know. Coventry, Blackpool, anywhere. I just wanted to leave. Not everyone laughs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're right, it's nobody's business. I just... I knew you hadn't. I know. The pain. You think I don't? Jesus. It fucking kills me even now. But there are people out there that are decent. Like who? The fucking shit. People, I don't know. Some fucking doctor. Charge a fortune. Tell me to cry and bitch and fucking point a wear on a baby born. Fuck, I'm gonna be sick. Fuck. Look. Someday maybe, I don't know, you'll meet someone. Someone you trust. You'll open up one day and share things, things you never imagined, out of love. And the best part is you won't even think about it. You won't even think of the shame or the guilt or what are they going to think. It'll just happen. It'll pour out of your heart straight into theirs. It's the best feeling in the world. What? You didn't. What? Look, Carl, half the women... I don't give a fuck about half the women, Chrissy. I don't. We didn't do anything wrong. Someone I know. Is it? I don't believe you. We were kids, boys. Get them on the phone. I want to talk to them. Get them on the phone. Chris takes the envelope out of his pocket. He's dead. Look, his fucking obituary. You brought it here. He's gone. You were high. Before, when I got here, you were nodding out. Don't deny it. I know an addict when I see their lying, rotten face. Let me talk to them. That's what you wanted. Prove it. If there's decent people in the world, prove it. The fuck do you have a house? What the fuck do you do all day? Huh. 
steer clear of the revenue. There's fucking rats out there, believe me. Pause. Chris picks up his phone. Just talk. You're my brother, Chrissy. But I lie. Chris dials a number, puts the phone to his ear. Blackout. Scene eight. The next morning. Bushka, in more formal attire, sits at the kitchen table. Chris enters with his laptop. I may get a higher res image for the contact page, and there are still one or two little niggly things on the back end, which, to be honest with you, you won't even notice. So as of the second, you hit this button, Bushka. Bushkacleans.ie is live, and you are finally officially open for business. I have to say, it is a beautiful looking website. The team is perfect, friendly, but professional, just like you. Go ahead, press it. Press enter, there on the right. It ain't gonna bite ya. I even installed a firewall so there's no fear of getting hacked. Come on, if you have a website, you can't be afraid to use it. Bushka stands, pause. You don't like it? The team is premium, no expense was spared. How long do you have sober? What? It's ready, Bushka. I want you to launch it. You know how long. How long? Why don't we get back on track here? You want me to press it? Fucking shit website. What? I not want website. Internet shit. I am architect. I work best company in Stegine. Clean for people. I make 250,000 lotties in a year. Cleaning shit. My mother cleaned houses. Nothing wrong with an honest day's work. Mother. Excuse me? Answer. All due respect, what the f... What the fuck is your problem? My problem? What is my problem? Are you all right? You. Me? Yes. 300 quid to scrub the toilet. Tell me, what part of that is a problem exactly? I built your website for nothing. You have a key to my house, for fuck's sake. The fuck do you want? A Christmas bonus? Apology. Treat like human being. Apology? I thinking you are a good man. I thinking Christopher, not like other. He is good. Good men not exist. I'm sorry. All right, I'm very, very sorry. Let's calm down here before we both get hysterical. Why sorry? For whatever you think I did, please. How long? When family not help, I help. When no one give shit, I give. Idiot, Bushka. Five years of graft and struggle. Five years making you proud. Do you think I'm that stupid? Bushka takes Chris's drug paraphernalia out of her pocket. 300. I help you live. Is not enough? You try steal back, I forgive. I say, come to meeting. I say, I help. You say, yes, I want help. Help me. I will go. Why you lie to me? I don't know what that is, but get it the fuck out of my house. Bushka drops the pipe and crushes it under her foot. Scumbag. Bushka moves for the door. Wait! Oh, you want to hit me like brother? Big man? You want hurt me? Fucking hit. Yeah. All right. Fuck you! All right. Wait, just... I smoked some. Once, that's it. And I feel sick about it. I wanted to tell you, but... I was afraid. You were so good to me. I didn't get it. All right? I can't. I can't help you get the house. I felt awful. I smoked a bit because I let you down. I'm sorry. Bushka takes a different envelope out of her handbag. What is that? Bushka. Tell to me. Are you reading my post? That's private. Bushka opens the envelope. It's a bank statement. Buy a house? For me? How? 
How you buy from me? Nothing. Eight euros. I not know you. I not know who is Christopher. I lied, all right? I'm sorry. I'm a fucking mess. Not my problem. Please, Bushka is about to leave. I'll kill myself if you go. I can't do it. I fucking tried and I can't do it. Bye. Pause. Bushka puts her bag down. I not know what is truth. Will you sit? Please. I'll explain. Please. Bushka stays standing. Pause. Chris sits. My dad's in Spain. You know that. A little seaside village called Rayaz, 20 minutes south of Cadiz. Like Kilmore, pretty much, but without the baits. Bushka, he's wanted. Drug. You tell to me. Murder. He's wanted for murder. Not this lunacy you see in the papers. Feuds and factions of fucking imbeciles too thick to know they got a good thing going. A civilian. Left his fingerprints. I had nothing, Bushka. When I left treatment, no money, no home to go to. Every bridge I had was burned. Emergency accommodation. Share a bathroom with winos and junkies. I rang Carl. Voicemail. Who could blame him? Ma's gone. She's made her choice. So I ring the one and only person I trust not to sell me smack. Right away, Da answers. Two rings. Where? He says. That's it. Where? Ten minutes later, I'm in the passenger seat. It's weird. We hadn't talked since the funeral. And I was so out of it, he may as well have been talking to himself. And now we're in the car, and he's saying nothing, and I'm saying nothing. He hung up when I said pathways. <laughs> so I'm sitting there thinking, is he mad? Is he going to hurt me? He pulls over. This little road in the middle of nowhere. He just sat there looking out the window. Staring out the window at some field, some... the land. I said, Da, I don't blame you. I don't even know if I meant it. I just... He looks at me, finally. I'd never seen him cry before. We'd never locked eyes before. They were brown, wet, like clay. Never had a chance. No college, left school early. He wasn't born bad. He was clever and kind and funny. He had two boys and a wife, and he did what a man is supposed to do. I said, Da, Ma had boyfriends when you were inside. She, she was lonely. She was young, I don't know. But one of them, who, he said, it was years ago, I said. He said, son, he never called me that. Son, just tell me. When a lad looks down and his dick and balls are on the floor, he don't want to live anyway. At that point, at that point, killing them is doing right by him. So I have house. You give to me house because father kill man? Come on. When you, you know this. When you leave your country, you leave things behind. Important things. Family, friends, business. Carl has business. Christ. Nobody in their right mind. You don't move coke and not smack. 
from a business standpoint, it don't make any sense. Of course you sell both. It's twice the margin for the same risk. I knew the market. I knew every pusher, every addict, every smack house in the city. I had everything in my pocket. I've always loved computers. I've been doing classes at the library, coding. Why? I was 35, my CV was blank. What fucking hope did I have out there? Tell to me. To make? To make fucking shit my life? I not want to know this. I trust you, Bushka. Back then I didn't, but I do now. I trust you. It should have been you that day. I should have called you and, well, who knows? Trust me? Christopher, trust me? You hit me. Chris approaches Bushka. What? Hit you? Bushka, no. Get away. Chris shakes his head. It's not in me to do that. No, to you. No. Yes, like his family. All of you. Rotten family. Chris grabs an empty bottle off the counter. Carl enters from the hallway. I'm sorry, what? You? Bushka? Did I just fucking hear that? Shut up. Bushka? Relax. Christopher. It's all right. Relax. The fuck are you doing? Why the fuck didn't you tell me? I told you to wait. We're supposed to kill her, not tell her your life's fucking story. What? Fucking shut up. I gave you, you fucking rat. Help! You! Help! Bushka! Help me! Shut the fuck up. What are you talking about? Kill her. I didn't say kill her. What is he saying? She knows everything. You just... You said... Talk? I don't fucking believe this. Carl, this is gonna have to wait. Why didn't I get it? It's gonna have to wait, I said. You kill me, Christopher? No. No, he's crazy. Look at him. He killed his girlfriend. He's fucking mad. What? Nobody's gonna hurt you. No, I didn't. He wanted her to die. I wanted her. Elaine never even tried coke before. Her friend's money, that's what I wanted. It was business. You told Dad. You gave him that image. Oh, you're gonna kill him too. One by one till there's nobody left to look at your crooked. Pause. Carl looks at Bushka. Don't you fucking touch her. What did he say? Don't answer that. What? That he let it happen? Don't listen to him. Did he tell you he liked it? He's mental. Did he? Did you mention that? That you're a sick cunt and you liked it and that's why you didn't stop him. Well, I fucking hated it. Every second of it. Bushka. Please. Don't you fucking move. She didn't do anything. Did you tell anyone else? Did she? Stop. Did you? No. Yes. What? You did? Oh, I want the address. Bushka. I kill every fucking one of you. Who is it? Police sirens in the distance. Chrissy. Chrissy. Do it. Do it. Carl freezes. Chris smashes the glass bottle, points the jagged end at Bushka. Chrissy, don't. Don't, that's life. I ain't doing life, Chrissy. Supply is five, six, max. We'll be out before we know it. We'll be grand. Don't. Do it. Chris rams the broken glass into his stomach. He slumps to the floor. Chrissy, fucking help him. He'll die. Bushka exits. Chris is bleeding profusely. Fucking ungrateful bitch. The sirens get closer. Carl sits, turns on the TV. There's a goal compilation show on. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm sorry. Go to sleep, brother. The sirens are loud. Carl turns up the volume on the TV. Blackout. <laughs>